welcome back in this session we'll be talking about stack stack is one of the most important you know data structure so let us understand stack what do you understand by stack so stack is defined as a list with a restriction that whatever insertion and deletion will be performing will be popping only in the one position which is namely which is called as the end of the list all the top okay now the question comes what is a list so if you are suppose listing some numbers i would say one comma two comma three comma four and i said these are my numbers then it becomes a list or i will give you an example so when suppose a teacher in the class takes the attendance and he notes down the numbers which are suppose say absent in the class right so he will he will note down as suppose say two row number two row number three Right, that he will be taking that that becomes a list right okay so stack is such kind of links where insertion will be happening and deletion will be happening at only one position okay which may be the which namely the end of the list and we call this as a stop as uh, as a top okay so let us understand if this is my list okay right if this is my list then what is happening is that I will push an item here. I will pop an item here. Now, what is poop and pause is something the fundamental operation of the stack, which is equivalent to insert and pop, which is called equivalent to delete. Okay, and top will be nothing which will pointing to the topmost element of the list, or which will be called is nothing but the stack. Right. So let me understand more. Stack is a list which have a restrictions where insertion and deletion will be only happening at one end okay so let's just consider this one end and that end will be represented by a routine which is called as the top yes and my operation that is insertion and deletion in the stack which is called as insertion operation is called as push and deletion operation is called as pop will be happening at this end of this particular list right okay in other words stack is also called as an abstract data type okay with a bounded predefined capacity right which allows you to add remove elements okay allowed you to add so why this is an abstract data type because here we are talking that stack is a list with a restriction of insertion deletion happening at one place or one particular position right and that insertion we call it a push and 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 it and, and the elimination is called as pop pop okay and it has a principle which is called lifo which we will be discussing in the next slide so based on that we are only defining the stack we have never told anything regarding the implementation as stack can be implemented using an array stack can be implemented using a linked list that we later will see it can be uh, implemented by a circular linked list also right so when we are not talking about that we are only talking about its principle the principle is that only in one end we will having the operation of insertion and deletion which we call is a push and pop and that particular at position which push and pop will be happening will be represented by a routine call as top or top will be one which is pointing to the nothing but the topmost element of the stack so down the line when i talk about topmost element it will also be clear let me tell stack is also known as lifo that is last in and first out okay so last element insert will be the first to be retrieved using push and pop right push is nothing but adding an element to the top of the stack and pop is nothing but removing or deleting the element at the top of the stack so let us take one example and then it will be very very clear so let us take a stack which is empty now suppose i want to insert a right so now I have insert a that is which is called as a push operation so i push an element a right into the stack and that a now will be pointing by the top initially top is null because nothing was there in the stack initially the top is null as nothing was there in the stack now i push an element a now top will be pointing to a let us push another element say b now b will be will be residing at the top of a and the top which was pointing by a it is now 
is pointing to B because B is the topmost element, right? So insertion is only happening at this particular top. You see push operation. Now let us pop means we move. What I will be removing? I will be removing the topmost element. So what is the topmost element in the stack? It is B, right? So let, once I do pop operation, after that my stack will be having element A. Yes. Again, if I want to insert C, then C will be at the top of A. And if I want to remove C, I will pop it up. C will come out. And here, when A is there, again I do a pop operation, then A will be removed, and again the stack will become empty, and top will be pointing to nothing. Right? Yes. Let us go further. The key attributes. I, I, what is the max? We have to think about maximum size. I can put as max top, or I can put as max size also. Here I am putting it as a max top. You can define it as max size also. And top, the index at the top top element of the stack. Now, what are the operation? We have to see whether stack is empty, right? It will return true if the stack is empty, else false. Correct. If you see is stack full, right? Then it will return true if the stack is full, else it is false. Top always will return the topmost element at the stack, right? Push will add an element to the top of the stack. Delete will delete the sorry, pop will delete the element at the top of the stack. And display tag will print all the stack, all the data in the stack. So attribute we have the maximum size or max top, the max size of the stack, and then top, which is nothing but the index, which is the topmost element of the stack. Operation, whether it is empty, we have checked, so is a empty one, that will be written true if the stack is full, or sorry, if the stack is empty, return false otherwise, right? Full, it will return true if the stack is full, otherwise it will going to return false. Top, return the topmost element of the stack, push, Add an element into the top top of the stack. Pop, delete the element at the top of the stack, and display the display all the element that is there in the stack. Yes. So let us see. So if you see this one the stack, okay, right. So push operation is coming up. So I'm pushing a value x. My my stack is represented by s. So s will be pushed into the stack. And when I write pop of x, pop the element from the stack. So x, since x is at the top of the stack, it will remove. Let us see this one. So we have 6, 3, 2, 4, 9, 7. The top is pointing to 7. So that in this stack, the stopmost element is 7. So if I pop on this stack, okay, so what will going to come up is 7, right? And then this top will be moved down and will be pointing to 9. Again, if I said uh, pop 9, again 9 will be popped out and this top will now move to 4. So pop 4 will be the topmost element. Now if I am, suppose, enter one so we'll push one right so i'll push then this will be become at top of four will be one one and top will be pointing to one okay so it's very simple right stack always insertion deletion at only one point right insertion is called as push deletion is called as pop and it, it is having at the same position and the topmost element whichever element is at top is be represented by top right so whenever you push an element top has to be incremented correct and whenever you will uh, what you say push, pop an element top has to decrement and move to the next element right yes and if you want to display the content of the stack so from the top you have to display each of the element from the stack so that is nothing but also the principle called as lifo last in first out because last that has been insert is been pushed is seven so the first that is come out is also seven that is why it is Lifo, or in some other language, it is called as okay, first in, last out. So, first in, it is nothing but six, and lastly, it will be out is six. So, like that, also some you know authors used to say, yes, right. So, let us see the algorithm now. Algorithm push this is my stack. Let's see, let's say that my size of the stack is five, so n is equal to five, okay, and already two element is there in the stack. So what I have to see whenever I want to push an element into the stack, whether the stack is full or not, right? How are you going to know the stack is full? Because my size of the stack is given by n, yes? So I have to write, now if top is equal to n, is top is pointing to the, 
pointing to n means the maximum size right then i say stack is full if it is not like that then i will increment the top by one so top which is what representing in 64 i'm pushing 75 already 29 and 64 is there right so top is pointing to 64 now top is incremented by one now it's points to here and then at the position of stack top i am inserting the item that is nothing but 75 yes so for the push i have written top equal to n and if top equal to n then stack is full that is n is nothing but the the maximum size of the stack if it is not light increment the top because top is pointing to the topmost element increment by one and then index index represent by top stack of top is equal to item right so you are pushing 75 so 75 come at the top of 64. now let us see if i want to pop an element the same size is 5 already 75 is there which is pointing by the top now i will see if top is equal to 0 so top is nothing it's not pointing to anything right then stack is empty right now if it is not like that then we have to say item equal to stack of top now top is pointing 75 now 75 will be equal to item right then since it has been popped out so top has to be reduced and it has come to 64 so that's why top equal to top minus one yes so it is clear push operation is clear you have to check whether the stack is full or not if stack is not it's not full increment the top and then simply write stack of top equal to the element now in the pop you have to see whether it is empty if it is empty if top is equal to zero right then you say stack is empty else just you write item equal to stack of top right and then we have nothing but the top equal to top minus one now let us see some real life example one is the elevator another the disk holder you can see even a stack of book is also one example and typically when you do in computer science you will be discussing more okay we have an expression right which is called as a prefix notation we have infix notation and postfix that also we can implement using stack right that prefix part postfix part and all this thing can be implemented using stack and also stack as i was telling is an abstract data type right we are not talking about the how we are going to implement the stack we are only talking about the principle of the stack right last in first two right only one and we are giving push and at one name we are doing the pop element and the topmost element is represented by the top yes and but however it can be implemented by an array which is static the size of the stack will be given initially or linked list we'll see how linked list work also because list which have a link right linking to each other each of the item in the list will be linked to each other and it is dynamic it never becomes full okay so having said this so i hope all of you have understood stack right stack is one of the abstract data type. stack is one of the lists where you have an expression but at one end only we are inserting and deleting and that insertion is called as push and deletion is called as pop right and the stack follows the concept in concept of lifo last in first out almost many book they say that first in last out okay so we have the attribute max top size maximum size of the stack top which is top pointing to the topmost element of the stack then you have the operation to check whether stack is empty stack is full then we have push to insert the insert the element pop to delete an element and also to display to display all the con uh, what you say content all the element of the stack okay furthermore we have seen some kind of algorithm also push you have to check whether stack is full if it is not then increment the top and in, in uh, then let stack of top equal to item if push uh in if sorry in pop we have to say whether a, a stack is empty otherwise just you write item equal to stack of top and top equal to top minus one and you have seen some application of stack a real life example the elevator and this also application of prefix and post and implementation in terms of array and linked list so i hope the concept of stack is clear and we can now move into some programming of stack thank you so much